Hi guys, Mrs. A here. We're looking at finding the angle values for uh, exact trig ratios that are given. So let's look at the first um, trig ratio. I also want to note that uh, we've done this before in degrees, but we're doing it again now using radian measurement. Um, so our, our angle is between 0 and 2 pi, where it used to be between 0 and 360 degrees. But all of our special angle values um, and triangles remain the same. So our first one is cosine theta equals negative 1 half. The first thing we want to do is think about where the cosine ratio is negative on the Cartesian plane. So I'm going to do a little sketch so we can visualize this. And according to the cast rule, we know that the cosine ratio is negative in the second and the third quadrants. So I'm going to put terminal arms in the second and the third quadrants just so I have a visual of where the angles are going to end up. So you see here that we have two values for theta that will satisfy this ratio. So we have to give two answers here. So the first thing we want to do is get that related acute angle here, and it will be the same thing here, because we use that to do our calculations. So that related acute angle, I'll call it alpha, we're going to get from our special triangles. You can also get these uh, from the values on the unit circle, if you have a unit circle, but we're going to use the special triangles today. So I'm looking for when cosine of an angle is 1 over 2. Remember that the cosine ratio is adjacent over hypotenuse. So if I come over to my two special angles over here, I'm looking for 1 over 2. That's not going to happen in this triangle because I only have 1 for side lengths and root 2 for a side length. So I'm looking at my second triangle here, and I need the angle value that will give me a cosine of 1 over 2. I only have two angles to choose from here. If I do cosine of pi over 6, adjacent over hypotenuse is root 3 over 2, and that's not what we're looking for. So let's look at pi over 3. Cosine of pi over 3 adjacent over hypotenuse gives us 1 over 2. So this is the angle I'm looking at right now, this pi over 3. So we're going to come back to our Cartesian plane, and I'm going to put pi over 3 as the related acute angle. So knowing in radians that halfway around the circle is 1 pi, if this related acute angle here is 1 third of pi, then the principal angle from here to here must be two-thirds of pi. So my first angle that will satisfy this relationship is 2 pi over 3. Okay, so now we need to find the angle that will go to this terminal arm. So I'm looking for, let's get a different color, this angle right here that goes around. So this will be 1 whole pi plus 1 third of pi. So 1 pi is 3 thirds, and then 1 third, 3 thirds, plus 1 third is 4 thirds. So this angle right here is 4 pi over 3. So both of these angles will satisfy cosine theta equals negative 1 over 2. Okay, so now let's look at the second question we have here. Now we have tangent theta equals 1. So we have tangent of theta equals positive 1. We want to uh, go to the Cartesian plane again and figure out where the tangent ratio is going to be positive. And so we think about our cast rule. And the tangent ratio is positive in the first quadrant 
and in the third quadrant. So both of our angles that will satisfy this ratio are gonna be here and here. So next, as always, we wanna look at that related acute angle here and here. Okay, so we'll call that alpha again. And we're going to go over to our special triangles and find when tangent of an angle is equal to one. Now this is not a fraction, so to turn it into a fraction, what we're really looking for is one over one, if that helps us to um, see the fraction there, one over one. And we know that the tangent uh, ratio is opposite over adjacent. So I'm looking for tangent theta equal to one over one. So looking at the two special triangles here, this triangle will give us one over one. Notice how both of the angles here are pi over four, because this is an isosceles triangle. So it doesn't matter now which one we choose. So this is a little easier than the last question. The angle is going to be pi over four. We can check that. Opposite, opposite over adjacent is one over one. And so pi over four does work for the related acute angle here. So I'm gonna come back. Our related acute, ang acute angle is pi over four, like this. Okay, so again, we're looking at the two principal angles we have. The first one is here. Well, a related acute angle in the first quadrant is always the same as the principal angle. So this one's nice to do. Our first angle is just pi over four. Now for the second angle here, we want the principal angle that starts at the positive x and goes all the way around to that terminal arm there. So when we're doing this calculation, we're thinking one pi, because that's half the circle, plus one fourth of pi. So one plus a fourth, one is four fourths. So four fourths, plus one-fourth gives us five-fourths. And so our second angle is five pi over four. Thanks for watching, Mrs. A Loves Math.